Hi everyone and welcome back to Cybrusis. Today we are going to dive into Rule 17 and learn how to create a maintenance request. Yes, this is a crucial step in ensuring the smooth operation of your equipment and assets. So first let's navigate to maintenance request. For that, let's open the maintenance module. This is the maintenance module. Okay. So if you get into the maintenance app, then you can usually find it in your Odoo dashboard. Okay, you have the maintenance teams here in the Odoo dashboard. Okay, so under the maintenance, you have this maintenance request. So without any doubt, click on that. Okay, so the next step is to create a maintenance request. For that, click on the new button. So this will open a new form. Next is to fill up the request form. Okay. So the first step is to give the name. Okay, so I'll give the name as printer jammed. That's my maintenance request name, printer jammed. Okay, so next what you have to do, you have to select the appropriate maintenance team, maintenance team, okay, which is responsible for handling this request. So here we have the team. You have internal maintenance, you have other maintenance teams as well, right? So from here, let it be internal maintenance itself. Okay, I'm okay with that team. Then the responsible person will come. Okay, so you should be assigned. I mean, you should be assigned to the request and you have to select the responsible person. Okay, and then you have to specify the date as well as the, you know, no, simply the date, sorry, uh, for the maintenance. And then you can use a calendar to, to pick the date and time. Okay, so here I'm choosing the date. Okay, I'm okay with the time. So that's it. Okay, now here is the duration. Okay, so the duration, I'm giving it as 24 hours. And then here you can actually set the priority of the maintenance request. So if it's an urgent one, you can mark it as a high priority one. Don't forget to choose the equipment, okay? So here you have different equipments. So mine is a printer. So I'm choosing HP inkjet printer, which is my equipment. And so you have the option to choose the worksheet template. Okay. So I'm choosing default worksheet. So that worksheet will be seen here on the top as a smart tab. Okay. So the category will obviously be printers, right? And then you have the maintenance type, whether it's a corrective maintenance or preventive maintenance. Let me help you with that. Corrective maintenance is, you know, once you started using a product and an issue came, you are doing the maintenance, that is to fix it. Preventive maintenance is that you are doing something so that nothing will happen to the product. So that's the preventive maintenance. This is what, this is a corrective maintenance. You are going to, you know, correct an issue. Okay, so that's the corrective maintenance. Next, you have the manufacturing order corresponding to this request. So if there is any, you can choose it from here. Okay. So here you can add internal notes as well as the instructions. So how the instructions should be, whether a Google slide, a PDF or text that can be chosen from here. Okay. So if this request is related to a specific piece of equipment, you can select it from the drop down list. So that was the equipment which I've chosen and then indicate the type of maintenance request such as corrective preventive. Okay, so I've already talked about that, which is the corrective one. Okay, so you can also add additional information here on the notes. Okay, so then here is how you create a maintenance request. Once you're done, what do you have to do? You have to click on the save button. Okay, so once you've entered all the necessary information, click the save button. Your maintenance request has now been created and is ready for assignment to a technician. Okay, so this is how easily you can create a maintenance request. This is the new request. Once it's in progress, it will move on to the stage. You can move it manually from here. Repaired or even scrap, whatever the stage is, you can move it from here. Okay, so it's that simple. You can see it in the log as well. Once it's marked as done, you can do that from, I mean, once it's done, you can mark it as done. Okay, and there you have it. You've successfully created a maintenance request in Odoo 70. So by following these steps, you can effectively manage your equipment and ensure minimal downtime so that's it guys thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more audio tutorials thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video